In this video, I'll be breaking down a beginner's fishing concept that will help you catch more channel catfish on pretty much any river system. I'm 25 now and have been fishing pretty much my whole life, but I've only been taking catfishing seriously for maybe 4 years now. I've read a few books on catfishing and a lot of the concepts I somewhat understand, but a lot of it still goes over my head. The concept I'm going to be breaking down today made sense to me because it was something that I was already utilizing when looking for river spots without really knowing I was implementing it. I'll be showing some fishing clips from last summer explaining how the concept relates to them and hopefully it will help you find more spots as well. First let's explain what this concept is that I keep referring to. This is the riffle hole run concept that I read about in Catfish Fever. Catfish Fever is an in-fisherman book written by three great catfishing minds, Doug Stangy, Steve Quinn, and Toad Smith. Let's start by defining these three terms. Riffle. Riffles can be anything that obstruct the movement of current. Some examples would be rock piles, islands, large wood piles, uh, man-made dams, beaver dams, and even bridges. All these are obstacles for current to push through. In this clip, I'm fishing a beaver dam that I found while I was out exploring. You can see the visible current that has to work extra hard to push through that obstruction. The faster moving water will likely score a hole in the soft river bottom at the end of the riffle. I drop my bait right at the end of that faster moving water behind the tree you see on the screen, and I think you can guess what happens next. That's a nice fish. Look at that one. Look at that fish. Nice. This leads us to our next term a hole or pool. A hole is just as it sounds. It's a wider and deeper section of river that a lot of times forms at the end of a riffle. Holes can vary greatly in size depending on the river, and they don't have to be much deeper than the average depth of the river to hold the fish. This clip clearly shows how the bank widens out and creates a pool at the end of this riffle. The riffle in this spot is created by a bridge, some shallow islands, and a lot of washed up debris. I dropped my bait in the center of this pool and caught about five fish ranging from five to seven pounds. He's on there. Nice. There we go. That's a good fish to start the day, you guys. For sure. Lastly, I'll explain a run. A run is just a river flat with no significant changes in depth. Sometimes they can stretch for miles until the next riffle or they can be fairly short. Personally, I don't really fish runs often due to them being fairly characterless in terms of depth and structure. Here is an image of a run that was upstream of the bridge I was fishing in the previous clip. I walked this half mile run on the bank and fished from multiple locations with very little luck. I caught a couple small fish, but that was it. If you can find a nice riffle hole spot on your river, grab a beer and a lawn chair because you'll be in for a great day of channel catfishing. This concept has proven to work really well for me and I hope it can help you out too. As always, I appreciate you all for watching and have a great week.